And then look at that. Look how good looking I would be if I was good looking. All right, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this face swap bot before, but I wanted to share it on my channel and give it a little bit of a mid-journey twist to it. The best part is it can all be done inside of Discord. But what do you need to get started? Well, first you're gonna need your own server. And if you're new to Discord or don't have your own server yet, Check how simple this is. Over on the left side here, you'll see your list of servers. And then this plus button right here is all you need. Add a server. I recommend just creating your own. You can make it for everyone or just for you and your friends for now. This is what I suggest. Enter your name and hit create. Simple as that. Now, once you have your own server, there are two bots you need to invite. First, let's start with Midjourney, And here's where you can find it. Up here at the top of Discord, you'll see the name of your server. You're going to click on it and you'll get a bunch of options. But don't worry. All we want is the app directory. It'll bring you to a new page and this is where you can search for Midjourney. Boom, right here, click on it. Then we're gonna add to server. It'll let you choose which server you're going to add it to. Find the name of the one you just created. Hit continue. You have to grant it some permissions, but that's okay. We're gonna hit authorize. And now you'll see it's on your server. But then for face swap, you're going to need to click on a very specific link and I'll leave that in the description below. It's gonna look something like this. And it will bring up that exact same menu we just used. Make sure you have your server selected, hit continue, grant its permissions, and then hit authorize. And now, boom, we have face swap and mid journey ready to go. So let me backtrack a little and just explain what this face swap is all about. Well, this bot is going to allow you to upload pictures of any face and then swap that onto any other image. It is free and it's very powerful. I mean, it's kind of free, we'll get to that later. I'll show you some quick examples, then we'll do a live demonstration, and afterwards I can show you how you might wanna use this with mid-journey. So right here, I generated a picture, portrait of a bald male model, casual dad style, unsplash, S400. And then look at that, look how good looking I would be if I was good looking. This bot is a lot of fun to use. It even does a decent job with something like a mask. Here's Batman, and then there's me. Now, it's not great, it's not perfect, but considering this face is obscured by a mask, I think that did a really good job. I mean, that chin, that smile, and that little niblet of a nose, that's me. These generations I was particularly impressed with. Close up portrait of a man and a lady walking in a park. I thought all of these look great, and what I really wanted to test was, would it know to put my face on the man? It did a pretty good job. Well, we go from this to that, and <laughs> for a painterly look. I think that's pretty amazing. We have these two dashing models and it did a good job again. And for the record, I tried it twice to see if there's any variation and there doesn't seem to be. Can you tell the difference? Okay, this one was kind of funny. I tried a portrait of Ben Affleck photo shoot and it gives a nice image here. But then when I put myself in the photo, <laughs> It put my face on the painting rather than Ben, and that's just a little quirk of the system. It even did a decent job of something abstract like this. I mean, okay, it's not perfect, but it's really good. Now, how do we use this bot? Well, it starts off pretty simple like Mid Journey. We're going to use the forward slash button right there. And if you've been using Mid Journey, you're going to see all those frequently used commands appear here. So what we actually want to do is just hover over on the left side here and click on Insight Face Swap. That will give us all of the commands used for that specific bot. Here you can delete your saved faces, you can add new ones. Now let's start this fresh. We're going to click on slash save ID. This is going to let us upload a picture as well as name it. I actually already made this a transparent PNG in Photoshop, but for the record, I don't think that's exactly necessary. Just something I tried. And we're going to save that as FTP. You can name yours whatever you like. Now there are two ways to swap that face onto a picture. First, you can do swap ID, where we can again upload a picture, and then down here we can input FTP and swap the faces. You know, let's try something like this. Do you think it'll work? <laughs> oh, wow, that was quick and that is quite impressive. Again, you might hear me say this a few times, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. And look up here, this says three out of 50 credits used. Now I wanna make this clear, this was free, but I don't know how often that queue resets. Right now it says three out of 50 used, and you can see previously a few days ago, I had 13 out of 50 used. So there is a point where it resets, but again, I've looked and I'm not quite sure 
when it does that. But there's also another way to swap faces. And honestly, it might even be easier. So what we're gonna do is use mid journey first. Forward slash, imagine. And then let's do something like portrait of a superhero. Uh, I like cyberpunk. No, okay, I got it. We'll go clean, clean minimalist style. You know me, I love Unsplash. It gives a really specific look. Let's make it S400 C8. Let's try to find one picture we really like. Hey, look, already I can tell this isn't gonna work. So let's use a new prompt. Close up, portrait of a man, clean shaven, cottage core. So we're gonna upscale the image and then check how easy this is to face swap. You're gonna right click on the picture, scroll down to apps, and then right here in swapper. All right, that worked a lot. Lot better. But how did it know to use my face just by pressing that one button? Well, this bot is going to use the last face you've saved. Now we can try the same thing with a new face just so I can show you. We're going to go back to save ID. This time, let's try Elon. Save it. And we can go back to our upscale, right click, apps in swapper and now because elon was the last face we saved elon's face will appear here look how good and quick and fun that is to use but how could we use this for mid journey well i think you can create a consistent character across different scenes using this technique and let me clarify i mean consistent character as in a consistent face not an outfit that is certainly not possible right now but let's try creating a character i'm gonna say portrait of an instagram model Vintage nautical style, unsplash, because that's important. We're gonna go S400. Let's go with number one. First, let's upscale that image. Now we're gonna have to save it, so you're gonna click on it once so it expands. Then we're gonna right click and hit save image as. What are we gonna call her? She looks like a, she looks like a mini. So we're gonna call her Mini. Does she look like a Mini? I don't know, I kinda just took a guess with that one. Now to save her ID, we're gonna hit forward slash and then you should see save ID here. ID name, Min. Now what I suggest you do with this is to create sort of a photo shoot where we could then apply her face onto different images. Try something like this. Instagram model photo shoot, pirate fashion show, unsplash, and then AR four by five. We're gonna try and get a full view of our character. Okay, this could be kind of fun. Let's try one two, and four. Three is slightly inappropriate. Just leave it at that. And because Minnie was the last character we saved, all we have to do is right click on the image, go to apps, and hit in swapper. Is that her? I think so. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> yeah, it's working. And this one will be interesting because she does have something here on her forehead. I wonder if the bot's able to figure that out. Yeah, that's, that is quite impressive. And if you were wondering, well, how can I easily access my other saved faces? You can hit forward slash, come over to the side here and hit insight face swap so you can see all of their commands and then down here at set id that's how we're going to choose which face we want to use and just for fun let's use elon the current id name has been updated <laughs> And then I went back and I swapped those pirates for Elon. He's looking good. Yeah, it, it does a good job. It blends the color so well. Like, obviously something doesn't look quite right, but come on, that's pretty good. <laughs> and same here. It even keeps the forehead aligned. It adds the lipstick properly. Amazing. And one other thing you might want to know, just in case you add a lot of faces and then forget what the shortcuts are, you can hit forward slash list ID and then get a handy update on what IDs you have saved. And I think that's one way you could create a consistent character across different scenes. Now again, I don't think it's gonna work perfectly because ideally you'd want them to be wearing the same clothing. But if you go with the story of a fashion show or just someone changing their clothes day over day, I think this could really help you out. And I know I showed you that you have 50 free credits to use and that I'm not quite sure how often that resets, but if you were wondering, you could go down here and hit subscribe on Patreon. And look, I'm not affiliated with this company in any way. I actually don't suggest you do this, but you can if you wanted. You could subscribe and get something like 200 daily credits. You can also do multi-person photos and you can save up to three times the identities. Full disclosure, I'm not sure how many identities you can save right now, if one of you experiments a lot, please let me know what the current limit is. I just wanted to point this out as a possibility. And there you have it. That's how you can use this face swap inside of your mid-journey workflow. I hope I explained that well enough for you. Let me know if you find any other use cases for this. Don't forget to check out my free PDFs in the description and maybe some of my prompt packs available on my website. In fact, this whole technique would work really well with image prompting. And if you're curious about that, you can check out this video here. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.